guys, I wanted to sit down and make this video really quick for you guys. We got some results for our boy Chino. You guys know he's been struggling lately, uh, mostly with some abscesses, constant abscesses this summer, and also with um, wasting away of his muscle. He's been losing weight. The loss of muscle has been the most dramatic thing that we've noticed, but he has been losing weight as well. He's been eating around the clock, eating so much food, more than he's ever eaten before, still losing weight. We did have the vet out and he did a bunch of preliminary testing. He did a bunch of testing. We got some preliminary results back. His thyroid is off. His potassium sodium levels are off. His white blood cell count is off. His red blood cell count is off. And he was jaundiced and he had signs of a long-term infection. Every time we make a change to Chino's diet, he gets abscesses every single time and then he's lame for a while we can't increase his food we have to do it so so slowly and he still will get an abscess the slower we do it the smaller the abscess the faster we do it the bigger the abscess um the abscesses have been causing so many problems for him this past summer it escalated from occasional abscesses here or there to abscesses almost like the whole last month he's had abscesses that came and did a thorough examination. The vet was really concerned about how the fact that he was jaundiced and the fact that he was wasting away, his muscles were wasting away, and he felt that there was a good chance that our boy, our sweet boy, could have cancer. And we were devastated, all crying. It was just... What does cancer do? Cancer kills you. I, because of the connection with the food, I felt like Chino was metabolic, that he was having problems with his sugar because he was having abscesses all the time and because it was always associated with food. He was just so incredibly sensitive about what we fed him. We've been giving Chino a metabolic diet um, for the last year and nothing has really changed. Even though we've been feeding him a metabolic diet, nothing really has changed. Um, we were waiting on results for his insulin levels and we were waiting results for a Lyme disease test. A couple of years ago, I asked our vet when he start, first started presenting with occasional muscle soreness. The vet told me that they don't do Lyme disease tests because one, you can be infected by Lyme disease 10 years ago and still have it in your blood but not be showing any symptoms. So even if you test positive, not, there's not always a reason to treat. Um, when I asked the vet to do the Lyme disease test, it was very soon after his symptoms started where I started to notice like intermittent lameness and intermittent muscle aches and pains. It takes a while for the for Lyme disease to get into the body. Positive result doesn't always predict the onset of symptoms. You can have Lyme disease and not have problems and that's what he told me and then I was insistent because I felt like there was something going on with this guy and I wanted to get to the end of it, or I wanted to get to the root of it. And he said that even when you treat Lyme disease, even if a horse presents with Lyme disease, that if you treat for it, it doesn't necessarily even cure it. And that, that just because a horse has Lyme disease doesn't mean that they will have symptoms. And, and everything that I've read collab collaborates that. So when the vet came out recently, he did all the testing for his insulin levels and he did all the testing for Lyme disease. It took a while for the results to come back and we finally did get some results. We were still unfortunately waiting for the insulin results, um, but he did get the Lyme disease test back and a Chino, oh, I can't even hardly say it. Like uh, when my vet called me this morning, he called me like at the crack of dawn and I knew like that he knew something. So. When the vet called me this morning, he said, Laura, your horse has Lyme disease. And I was just so, like, I just cried because it just makes me sad that I, that I knew something was wrong and I wanted him to be tested for it. But there, so I talked to this vet and said, and told him, like, I asked for him to be tested before. And he said that what the other vet told me is true, that some vets do test for it. Some vets don't test for it because it's, it's such a there's so much unknown about Lyme disease he said that if he had come out he would have probably tested him for it even though he felt that the other vet did the right thing too because Chino was hardly having any symptoms back then he didn't have a lot of symptoms but now after all this time has gone by Chino is having like the yellowing of his eyes the jaundice he's having the wasting away of his muscle he's having uh, no energy. He's having like all the symptoms of Lyme disease. So he told me that Chino tested positive for Lyme disease. He has 
chronic Lyme disease, he actually sent the test. The reason it took so long for it to come back was because he sent the test to the, to the American testing site in Canada where they test. He told me that they only test to see if they have it or if they don't have it. At the American site, they test to see if they have it and how long they've had it for. So because she knows had it for a long time, he has chronic infection. It explains the inflammation. Um, we've been treating Chino for inflammation for a long, long time, and likely the inflammation was caused by the Lyme disease. He, his muscles are wasting away, and he just is in a bad state, and it just started to spiral this last summer. It just got so bad. I did that out a few times this summer already, and I asked the first vet, like, why? I don't understand what's happening, and that's about how I felt almost this whole time. Like. I knew like, like it's so hard to see this horse eating and eating and eating and eating, eating so much food and then still wasting away. And, and I couldn't understand it. His thyroid is off and that makes sense. But all of the symptoms that he's having can be, can be an issue with Lyme disease. So we're definitely sure that he has Lyme disease. We started the treatment already. Um, we're hoping that for good results, the longer you have Lyme disease, the less chance that you can come back from it. But he doesn't seem to have a lot of neurological issues from it. And, and we're hoping Gabby is just so much happier. You know, is gonna take some medicine and we're hoping that the medicine is gonna make Chino feel a whole lot better. Him. Show them the medicine, Gabby. This is five hundred dollars. This was five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. How much do I have to give him? Um, Thirty. So, no, ten. Ten milligrams in the morning and ten milligrams at night. Oh, it's a dial. Like that? That much? It's see? right on the line. Yep. Turn it around. Uh. Yep. That is perfect. So Gabby's gonna give it to him. I can't believe like yesterday we were still waiting, and right. today he's getting drugs. <laughs> our boy might get fixed. So unfortunately his diagnosis is complicated, but not as complicated as cancer. And he may be able to eat grass again. And he might, he might be able to have a normal life, but he also might not, and that's okay. Even if he's just like a, uh, even if he's just a regular horse that just hangs out on our field, in our field, I'm okay with that. <gasps> Can't get it out. Did you get it in? Oh, some of it. That's all gonna go in his mouth. All right, we're gonna have to find oh, a better. Get up! Get up. Oh my gosh! Get two hands for this. Okay. All right. Let's put his halter no. on. When you ask for help, and from the only people that can help you, and they say no, it's so frustrating. When I called this last vet, I actually called crying my eyes out. And I said like, I've been asking for help for so long and I just feel like nobody will listen to me. And I just, I needed somebody to listen to me. And this vet, I was crying to the receptionist and she put the vet, this other vet on the phone right away. And he was on his lunch break and he just came to our house. He just came and he said as soon as he walked in, he could tell Chino needed help. And the other vet was here just so soon ago. And it was was here You're not crying. that yeah like the other vet was here not too long ago and Gina was already failing he was already losing muscle we thought it was because he had been off work for a while but to a trained eye I just felt let down and I just felt like nobody was helping me when I needed help to see him eating and eating and eating and still wasting away it was really hard on my heart but anyways I feel like I don't like I feel uncomfortable phoning somebody and crying to them and begging them for help. I just felt so frustrated, unheard, and not taken seriously, and I hated the fact that I had to call and beg them to help me, but I thank God every day that I did do that because she was finally getting help. The vet phoned me at like 9.30 this morning and at 10 a.m. after Sam finished chores, we were at that vet office and we were getting his drugs and he's already had the first dose. So anyway, I thought I already cried enough. I thought I already had it cried out. So uh, we get to keep Chino. There are some other things that we are that we don't know yet and I'll keep you guys updated on the progress of Chino and what's been what's happening. We're still waiting for insulin levels. At this point, I think his insulin levels 
will turn out normal because the first vet told me that he doesn't fit the mold for a metabolic horse even though he was so sensitive to every food change that we ever gave him and even though he was having other feet issues that were consistent with with high insulin levels I don't know if I don't know if Lyme disease causes that but the vet today told me that the, that Lyme disease will throw your whole metabolism out. It will affect your your it'll affect your it'll affect your thyroid. It'll make you jaundice. It'll make you feel weak. It'll make you feel like your body has arthritis in it. And I think it's important to note that Chino seemed okay most of the time, but just really seriously deteriorated this deteriorated this last summer. But anyway, that is it. I just want to give you guys a quick message. I'm sorry. I just want to give you guys a quick update. I know some of you are like really, really waiting to hear. So if you want to pray, keep praying for him. But I hope and I pray that he's on the upswing now. We will follow through with another Lyme, di Lyme disease test in a few uh, weeks. He, well, in a few months. He will be on the medicine for a month. And we will retest him and... We'll keep monitoring him, and hopefully he just gets better and better and better. Anyways, thank you guys for thank you, thank you to any of you guys who were praying for us, and thank you guys for like keeping him in your thoughts and in your hearts. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't you know that you're